everyone welcome to my channel this is reading truth to roll by clara i am clara and today we are reading true today we're reading for the sign of aries aries welcome to my channel i want to just put out there that this is a general reading it may or may it may or may not resonate it's not a private reading I may say you, it may be someone in your environment. Aries, you may be spending a lot of alone time with the Hermit card here. You may be cutting certain people out of your life. You're in the block here, so you could be spying on someone. And you may see someone as your soulmate here. You know, you may know someone here for a really long time. You know, you probably grew up together. I also see, like, you want to offer, like, uh, some, make some kind of an offer. Someone wants to make some kind of an offer to you. It may start out small, but it's something that can grow and it's something that's solid and real. I also see here the temperance card. So you may need patience in a situation or someone around you may need patience. Um, there has been this in and out energy um, around you, like this player energy, hot and cold, in and out energy going on here. And the Knight of Wands represents Sagittarius. You have Sagittarius here twice, by the way. You also have the Knight of Swords. So you might get some kind of an information that comes in quickly and someone may even come in to apologize. In hopes and fears, you may feel blocked by someone or you may be blocking someone here wow but you want a new opportunity with someone and a big opportunity is coming your way you may feel a lot of passion for someone and you may see someone as grounded as having money as stable you may even be obsessed with someone could be an earth sign as the pentacles do represent earth signs taurus virgo capricorn but the devil definitely represents capricorn so you may be obsessed with a capricorn and you may see that they're doing really well in life here but you may feel like this person is with someone else and you may be a third party here. You may feel this person is married. There's someone here around you also. Uh, if you have someone there in the reverse because this is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So there could be a fire sign around you that's in the reverse. This person could be very negative, very toxic as well. You may have needed the strength <clears throat> to get through a lot of situations in your life as well. see a single and abundant here but you're you're not sure about them yet it's like i feel like you, you're going in you're trying to seek answers you're trying to figure things out you may even be spying on this person but it's like you're looking for the truth you're looking for clarity here yeah you the full card representing aries again so aries basically and did i say again i didn't mean again i'm sorry aries Wait, did I see something for Aries again before? No, what did I say again? Anyway, um, basically, here's a full card representing Aries, ready to take a leap of faith. But it's like you're still spying and it's in the block because you're still not sure. You may be wanting to end something with someone or transform a situation here as well with the death card here. And it's like you want to make an offer, but you may feel like it's such a small offer because this person that you, you're wanting to approach may be on an empress level where they may have what they want and need. So you may feel like it's not enough. You may not even be sleeping well because it's like you're thinking how to make a way to get to this person here. But it's like it's going to take time and patience. I also see where something is ending. So if there's been player energy around you, it's like you're ending these player energy ways. You're also transforming yourself. Yeah, again, in the hermit mode, it's like there's a message coming in while you're in hermit mode. So it's like you're going to realize something. It's going to come in fast. It's going to be like an epiphany. It's like you're going through... A transition like a transformation here you could be dealing with a queen of swords could be um libra 
because the Queen of Swords represents Libra. This Libra may want to come in with an apology for you or offer you something. I also see you in hopes and fears where you'll be leaving a situation because someone has cheated before on you and you're feeling very guarded and you're blocking people out. But in the, with the outcome in the Four of Cups, it's like you're feeling lack. It's like there could be a new opportunity, but you don't feel like you have enough, like you're in lack. Someone is ready to be passionate with you, but you're in lack, in a lack mentality or a worried mentality here. You might have even had options. Someone could have even done witchcraft to you at some point. You might get some message or something about this, needing strength. Someone had a lot of has a lot of passion for you, wants a new opportunity with you, and someone could be thinking of you or you're thinking of someone deeply here. It's like you want the, okay, so it's like you want, wow, this is beautiful. Hold on. So it's like with the Ten of Cups, this all flipped in my hand. So it's like with the Ten of Cups, it's like you want happiness. You know what you want. You want to have the happy home, the children, or, you know, a, a happy family life, you know, merge together, merging, you know, easily. And you have this know about you, like you know what you want with the King of Swords here representing Gemini. <clears throat> You're very smart, you're very strategic, and you really take things slow and you think things through. You want to move away from any negative people, things, places, and you want to go into smoother, calmer waters. You want peace in your life and you want calm in your life. And you're moving from all that negative and toxic mess you've been in for quite some time. Aries, <laughs> that's what I have for you. Namaste, love and light. God bless. And until next time.